commend you to the word of his grace that is able to build you up. His word is what built the life of a man up. If you want to be built up, look for his word. Search his word. That is where you will be blessed. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you again into another episode of this program in his presence. And I pray as you keep watching this program, God will turn everything about your life around in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to speak to us on what I titled, Contending for the Faith. Contending for the Faith. When you are born again, the moment you declare for Christ, the moment you take a step after your conviction to give your life to Jesus, the devil declare a war against you. Because he know that as you remain in God, he begin to turn everything about your life around. So he want to make you fall from the faith. Even Jesus who was God, the devil came to pull him out. If you are the son of God, turn this stone into bread. I will give you all this if you will bow down and worship me. But because Jesus had the word, he told that it is written. It is written. Hallelujah. So one of the weapons to fight against the devices of the devil in his quest to pull you out of faith is what is written. You must be conscious of what is written concerning your life, concerning your relationship with God. Hallelujah. It got to a point where they told the disciples that they should not speak or teach in the name of Jesus again. But the disciples said, even if it pleases God for us to obey you, we cannot but speak what we have seen. We cannot but speak what we have heard. We cannot but speak what we have handled. Because salvation is an experience. It's something that is so beautiful. If you have that experience, your life is turned around. So the disciples stood their ground and they defended the faith. They defended their salvation. The Bible said, walk out your salvation with fear and tremble. Hallelujah. It got the point where the Bible said that if you have not resisted sin to the point of shedding blood, you have not started. So it is, it is as hard as that. You need to stand your ground. You need to stand your ground. Hallelujah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they told the king, they said, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. We know that God will deliver us. The God that we serve will deliver us. But yes, even if the God that we serve did not deliver us, we will not bow to your God. We will not serve your God. They stood their ground. They stood for the faith. Hallelujah. They stood for the faith. Hallelujah. And I tell you the truth that every time the devil wants to negotiate your faith, what he wants to do, he wants to rob you. Anytime the devil wants to make mockery of your faith, just know he wants to take something that belongs to you. So you must be vigilant. You must be vigilant. You must stay put. Hallelujah. You must stay put. You must stand to defend your faith. Hallelujah. The Bible said the testimony of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they stood their ground was that God came to their rescue. Jesus, the fourth man, was in the fire with them. Hallelujah. When the king saw, the king made a decree in Daniel chapter number 3 and verse number 28. 
Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angels and delivered his servant that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies, and they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, language, we speak any, we speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces. Hallelujah. Their, the name of God was glorified in their life. And the rest, the testimony began to reign in that land. Hallelujah. Daniel was another man. They could not find anything to draw him out. They could not negotiate his faith. They could not pay him. To, they could not pay him to make him deny his faith, except against the law of his God. Hallelujah. The other testimony was that they succeeded in making Daniel to keep worshiping God. The Bible said, "And Daniel opened the window when the decree has been made." Hallelujah. And he prayed as he usually prayed, and he was put into the lion den. Hallelujah. And God rescued him. But I like the testimony of the king. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Daniel chapter number 6 and verse 25 and 20 to 28. Then King Darius wrote unto the people, nations and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that every dominion of my kingdom Men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. Men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God. And steadfast forever. His kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivereth. He rescueth. And he worship and he worship signs and wonder in heaven. He walked signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered from the power of the lion? Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lion? So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius. Hallelujah. This Daniel prospered in the land because he stood the ground. When you stand for God, the benefit is glorification. When you stand for God, don't allow them to negotiate your faith. Don't allow them to pay you to deny your faith. Stand your ground. Stand firm for Jesus. And I tell you the truth. The God that you are standing for will defend you. The God that you are standing for will defend you. Hallelujah. How can you stand your ground? What will help you to stand your ground? It's the word. The word. The conviction of the word. Jesus said it is written. It is written. So you must be conversant with the word. Bible said that you must work out your salvation with fear and tremble. Hallelujah. As you keep doing that, God will keep elevating you. will keep changing your story in the name of Jesus. Like Paul said, what shall separate us from the love of God? What shall separate us? Refuse to allow anything to separate you from his love. Refuse to allow anything separate you from his love. As you keep with him, as you remain in him, he will turn everything about your life around. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you. The first step is you must be born again. You must be saved. Hallelujah. You must be born again. So you are there again. You are there watching this program and you are not saved. You have not said yes to Jesus. This is a good opportunity for you to do it. Jesus has paid the price. He wants to turn everything about your life around. 
He wants to decorate your family. He wants to decorate your job. He wants to decorate your business. He wants to decorate your home. All you need is just say yes to him. You can't manage your life because you mismanage it. He will manage it for you. And everything in battle life will become beautiful. He wants to enjoy this benefit of salvation. Pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you today. I come to you just as I am. I cannot help myself. You are the only one that can help me. Today, I ask that you forgive me my sin. Wash me with your precious blood. Save me, Lord. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You wipe away my sins, Lord. You wipe away. You can discover life. Oh, yes, Jesus. You took away the crisis. Yes, you took it away. You put a smile on my face. that have identified with you today, that has given your life to, to you today. I pray that you save them. Save them to the point of when you shall come. And when they will come, they will not be missing in the name of Jesus Christ. Give every one of them grace to keep serving you, to keep following you till the, 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 the day of your appearing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I believe again that you have been blessed by this episode. I want to encourage you that you keep keeping a date with this program. Keep watching this program on this channel, iBrand TV. And I know that as you keep hearing God's word, as you keep putting God's word to you that you are hearing from this platform, everything about your life will be beautiful. God bless you. Amen. Amen.